and you're gonna get a one, two, three stick. PRP is, um, stands for platelet-rich plasma, which is a concentration of platelets that we get from your bloodstream. Um, what it's used for is for a variety of different orthopedic conditions. Right now we're using it for, for the most part for arthritis. It seems to be most effective for treating early to moderate arthritis. So when we do the PRP procedure, uh, essentially what, it, what we do is we bring the patient in, we draw blood from their arm, and then we take that blood and then we uh, put it into a centrifuge, which is a machine that spins down very rapidly. And it takes about five minutes and we're able to extract the platelets uh, from the blood that we draw. And you can see it's layered now and the platelets are on top and the blood cells are on the bottom. And then we take those platelets and we can inject it into the knee joint uh, as a treatment for knee arthritis. Success has been generally very good uh, and, and most studies, uh, most randomized trials that have been done that compare PRP to either other treatments or placebo show that PRP is actually probably the best treatment that we have available right now. So I want to just get platelets and get a really solid amount here. There's a big difference between PRP and stem cells. PRP it are growth factors that are taken from your own bloodstream. They don't have any cells in them per se, no, no cellular material, it's just platelets. She's got quite a bit of telfermor arthritis. So a candidate for, for PRP would be anybody uh, of any age really um, that has a condition that we think that may be appropriate for it, such as somebody that has maybe a tendonitis or tendinopathy even, athletes, uh, and even uh, people with osteoarthritis can benefit from the treatment as well. It's interesting because it usually takes three or four weeks for the results to actually manifest. Most of the studies on PRP show that the material is still active a year after the injection. And so uh, not only does it appear to work better than the other treatment options, but it seems to have a more durable effect. You can do one injection, that's an option. Uh, the current level of evidence suggests doing three injections is probably optimal. And so we recommend doing one injection once a week for three weeks. Put some ice on it tonight. Okay, don't take any anti-inflammatories for three weeks. And I think, you know, regenerative medicine is just a really hot topic right now. This is, seems to be the future of orthopedics. You know, we have these options available and really for, for years we haven't had a lot of options for uh, uh, patients with knee arthritis in terms of conservative treatment and this really gives us more options on the table in terms of how we treat this.